What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of StormyRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do you guys on Day Through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. So if that is what you're into, please do subscribe and hit that little like button on this video. Um, today what I'm going to be doing, you guys, is I am going to be sewing <clears throat> these Franken pages that I made into envelopes. Now, I've done this before. Um, I had these white printer paper scraps just laying around, so I decided to go ahead and collage Franken paper on them. I used a paper pad from a Recollections. Or, hi, Jen. A paper pad from Recollections or some sort of brand from Michael's. I used some printouts that I had laying around, um, scraps of. I used light paper and I used some book paper. So that was kind of the mix of papers I was going for. Um, and I just kind of did this over the weekend <clears throat> when I had some free time. I was just having, you know, I was just watching TV and then I was just collaging all these pages. So now I want to make them into envelopes. And honestly, I just wanted to sew. I just wanted to sew something. And um, that's what I decided to do. So I, I made all of this pile here, this whole pile here. So um, like I said, I made these before and I'm going to make them the same size. I believe the papers were the same size. Why Why I have this size paper, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> we're going to work with it. going to make it all the same oh and i have this too so it's this whole pile right here of papers that i have frank and paged and then um today <clears throat> i sewed all the little edges so all the papers have been sewn in between i just wanted to see some uh some of my nice thread that i got this is one of my new color threads it's this very dark burgundy i love it and then i kind of decided to keep working on the threads that i had almost done so i kind of grabbed them and started using them but anyways just kind of going by the threads that i had in my bobbins already so these ones i want to make a tiny bit different as in this part right here i think i want to use my punch right here i think that might look pretty cute so um, let's see, where am I going to fold? I have my mini uh, scoreboard here that I love. I love my little mini scoreboard. And I am going to just score them at uh, four and, what, like, what would this be? Just sh uh, shy of four and a half. The one little marker shy of four and a half. I don't know what the measurement that is. <laughs> it's this one right here, this little line. So I'm going to score it there. That was that crooked? That was, no. Yeah, I did. I scored that crooked. No, it wants to fold along the stitch. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how? And then right here, um, it looks like I folded it at three for the flap. Okay, so there's my flap. So here's my little envelope. So what I want to do is I want to... Last time I did the rounded edges, this time I want to do my punched um, border here, this nice little scallop punch border by Fiskars. And you guys know I'm not the best at, <coughs> at these punches for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try though. I'm going to try my best here. It takes me a minute, but I'm gonna do it. And then I have, um, I have my sewing machine loaded with green thread because I thought that would make a nice contrast. Okay, so here we go. We have this cute little flap here. So let's get to sewing. I want to see a little bit of finished product here in the video. So I'm going to... Um, 
I am going to punch and then sew this up here. So first I'm going to start this part right here. Um, I like to sew a zigzag right here on this part just because I feel like this part of the paper is a little bit more vulnerable. So I do want to sew that up so that way when you're grabbing from here, it doesn't rip. That's just what I feel happens. <laughs> I don't actually know. Hi, Patricia. You don't, they don't like the, the punches don't like you either. It happens. So I'm just going to zigzag stitch right here. gonna stitch all the way around <clears throat> and I start over here and I'm going to do straight stitch here okay there we go we're on camera now <laughs> I'm gonna do straight stitch Now I'm just using default settings here. Trying to get as close to the edge as I can. wrong here. Oh, I didn't leave it all the way to the edge somehow. Weird. I don't know where that happened, but okay. I will accept. <laughs> I will accept what happened. It's fine. But I like it there with that little scalped edge. That looks cute. Okay. Let's do another one. So I am really loving these little Franken papers. The colors that I chose obviously were random, but they also all kind of go together. They're all kind of like pastel. And then the papers kind of act as neutral. So first I'm going to score it at four. The line less than four and a half. What is that called? I don't know. I'd have to look at a different ruler. I hate those little in-between numbers. I don't know. Sometimes the metric system doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> okay, so let's see right here. Do fold it. And then I'm going to use this punch on this one. Okay. This one's the cutest punch in the world. I love it. Who's here? Beverly, what's up, lady? What is up? Okay. So now we're going to do zigzaggy. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And longer than normal because I didn't like the way it looked on the other one. Okay. Now we close it. And some of these envelopes, I would start off with one color and then my bobbin. Oh, look, I didn't even do these parts right here. What the heck? Hang on. Hang on, I got it. I didn't even notice I didn't do this one here or this one here. Why? Why would I do that? I don't know. 
So this one's gonna have all sorts of colors in between the papers that's coming out. So on some of these, I would like, you know, be at the end of the bobbin and then I would change it out. But you know what, I kind of like the whole different thread look. That actually looks really cute. Um, so maybe I'll just go in with different colors and do different lines at a time. I don't know, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. I could use a, a white bobbin and just keep cutting off, just taking off the top. Just uh, doesn't matter, you don't see the bottom thread anyways. So I just cut it all off. But it looks really cute with the different threads. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we are actually ready to sew this down. You sew so nice and straight. It has taken uh, years of practice. Literally years. <laughs> I think I've had my sewing machine now for like four years, I think, maybe even five. So it's been quite the um, practice, really. <laughs> over and over and over. I actually really like to sew on paper. So I make a lot of stuff and I literally consider it all practice. And I have. I'm just over the time kind of gotten there, like closer to the edge and closer to the edge, like sewing. But just as I felt comfortable. It's all about keeping your eye where you, where you like really want it to be. Oh, it's a little tough sometimes, straining on the eyes. It's just been so much practice. And I really, like I said, I really just enjoy kind of doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> Until I get better at it. <laughs> okay, there we go. See? We got this over here, looks cute. I'm liking it. Yeah, see that one a little crooked because I don't have any way to know if I'm going straight or not, but I'll have to work on that. <laughs> okay, so here's another envelope to add to the stash. And this one actually, I sewed it correctly so it's not puckering. <laughs> it doesn't always happen. I just didn't do it right. Okay. Now to make the next one. Of course, all these folds um, will be could be different on your um, on your paper. My paper happens to be seven by five. So if you're a piece of paper that you start off with seven by five, then these uh, folding directions will will work. I fold it on the line right below uh, four and a half. And then fold that in. And then I put the um, part that I just folded up against the left side. And then I score at three. Who's here? Vanessa, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I think your sewing machine holds a bit more steady to minus over 10 years old. Oh my goodness. Uh, have you gotten maintenance? Cause sometimes it's not you though. Sometimes it's the sewing machine and needs to be maintenance. I always say that like how, when was the last time you got maintenance? Cause that is important. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. So let me, <laughs> it's just like your car, you know, you want to get it tuned up before it takes a crap on you. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where the freaking punch is going to be. I'm terrible with this. I need to go back to elementary school to learn how to punch correctly. Okay. I did my best. <laughs> I did my best. That's all I can do. 
We are back at the sewing machine systems. Okay, so zigzag. And my paper kind of ripped right here, but I'm not gonna trip. I'm not even gonna trip, dog. But I could sew it right here with the zigzag so that doesn't get worse. Um, nah, it's okay. It'll be fine. Um, but I do need zigzag right uh, here. What happened? I don't know. My thread came off. <laughs> Made this cool thing though. I'm not even I'm not even mad. Sometimes the mistakes look really cool though. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened, but you know what? We're gonna just try again. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. And I'm just gonna try again. Okay, we're good. <laughs> No fear, I'm telling you, they know when you gotta do something. Um, uh, can't sleep, so I said, why not look to see if Daisy's <laughs> You're funny, Vanessa. <laughs> you know, I'm on here late with this late night junk journal show. <laughs> okay, so let's now sew. Let's now sew this down here. This wants to naturally fold right here, but I don't like that small space right there, so I still want it to be here. Okay, so let's start sewing. Oh, I was on zigzag, I need straight stitch now. I'm sewing over some thread because it sounds crazy. Can move it in place. Okay, see, this is where I have the issue of going crooked. <laughs> so let me see. I can notice that this has to be like right here. So I'm going to try and keep my own um, that right there. I didn't know you were live, Daisy. They are fired. <laughs> I'm live, girl. I'm live. And I'm just taking a little break for Christmas. <laughs> I still have a, a Christmas drug journal to decorate, but I really just want to like sew right now. So I'm like, let me just do what's going to make me happy right now. See, that was a lot more straight because I kept my eye. Okay. See? Okay, great. Practice, y'all, practice, because I, I made that so crooked last time. Look at this. It was, like, crooked, and look at the improvement. Look at that. Ha-ha! They said I could never do it, y'all. They said it could never happen. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, let's make another one here. Again, my starter page is 5 by 7 So first, going to score... I didn't know this paper was crooked. Okay, this paper is crooked. Hang on, not cool. Hang on one second. I gotta get to my cutter. I cannot deal. I cannot deal with this. Okay, yay. Okay, no, we're not crooked. I couldn't deal with that. <laughs> it was not cool. Again, these are scraps, so I 
Yes, they're not entirely um, straight. So I scored, technically, I guess I could score at four and a half or four and a quarter, but I scored right in the middle and I can't remember that freaking measurement. Let's see here. You're so fast doing quilts. Did you glue pieces down first? Uh, yeah, so these I glued down with just um, some, a glue stick down the middle. Just a little glue stick down the middle and then I sew it in between. Zigzag actually takes a lot, <laughs> a lot of thread to do. And then I scored it at three to make my little envelope. Now they do want to fold where the stitches are. So be careful. See, it's a little, it is like a tiny bit crooked right here. Okay, no, it's not. <sighs> I'm a little better. I haven't been working in my spot. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. You went through some, through some drama. Hang on, I forgot to punch. How did I forget to punch? I don't know. Okay, what is happening? Let it go. Oh, it's holding on to the thread. <laughs> they didn't want to let go of the thread. Okay. So I want to make um, regular Franken page sizes so that I can use them in my signatures. I have way too much scraps. Since I bought this paper pad, I have way too many scraps now. So. It's time to use them up, right? So, time to make more Franken pages than I've ever made before. <laughs> okay, we are here and we're back. And I'm using a zigzag. Again, I'm using a really dark green thread because I felt like that would kind of uh, accent everything. <laughs> On, like other fun stitches you know but the zigzag stitch is honestly like a reliable and quick stitch so I was just like I was just rolling with it all the way I guess <laughs> okay so then um stitch number one so we can close it up I did these this weekend. I just really felt like sewing something. <laughs> I had nothing else to sew up. So I'm like, you know what? I saw some of these scraps. Let me get these sewn up. <laughs> well, first I had to glue them down. And then I did spend some time um, sewing everything. So that was fun. Got a nice little mix of papers here. Hi, Chris. Hello, hello. So this one looks really cute. And again, then I'm going to make my next batch of papers with, with the scrap of papers also. So it'll look like everything kind of matches, you know? You know, you know? Okay. Next one. And this is just what I've been, <laughs> what I've been doing all day in between. I did get some orders out, and then when I was done with that, I was like, I want to sew. 
So then I got to sew all the little zigzags on here. And then the three. Oh, this one's a different size, huh? This one's a little bit shorter than the other ones. Okay, I didn't know that. So I can, maybe I can have a, a bigger little flap here. Okay, that'll work. Whatever size um, paper you're gonna use, you just wanna make sure this folds up and, and then you're gonna want a little bit of a gap between your flap and the um, part you can put stuff in. That's the only thing, the only um, kind of parts you have to worry about. Okay. Oh, I didn't touch. Gosh darn it, baby. I keep forgetting now, my bad. I want to make some envelopes like that now. I'd be great. They'd be great for documentary and work on moving over. Cool. Oh my god. So I guess um, my aunt and my cousin got it here in town. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like, what is happening? <sighs> they were working, so I guess that that's how that happens. But just, oh my god. Just when you think you're like home free. Nope. Gotta worry about somebody else now. And I'm just staying my little bit home. <laughs> I am only going out to like get food and what else I'm doing? Oh yeah, like fast food. <laughs> food or fast food. I just said to my husband, it's getting fresh so I think I can go to thrift shops, but I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. They just... They're just sick at home. Nothing like that, fortunately, not yet. Not, I can't say that yet. My parents have gotten it and gotten over it with no um, hospitalization earlier this year as well. So we've been fortunate. I think this one went crooked. Gosh darn it. Just slightly, just slightly, but I'm just pointing at myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I forgot to sew this part right here. Gosh, I'm distracted. Okay. That looks good. And then I didn't box it right there. Okay, Daisy. What are you doing? Ah, thank you, thank you. Oh, who did I miss? Miss Gigi. I missed you. What's up, bro? What is going on, Miss Gigi? <laughs> There's this um YouTuber I watch. His name is Mr. Gigi, and I just find it funny. But he's like, you know, just G. And you like the letters. <laughs> Mr. Gigi. He's so funny. Okay, so then this one is different size as well. So, okay. I'm going to leave just like half inch gap in between the flap and the bottom. I should have made this one a little bit bigger, but I didn't realize that I am now working with a different size. Okay, so you know, this one's more like seven by five. Okay. All right, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> you know what? We are going to deal with this. Oops. It's going to be okay. I can't remember how long ago I got this punch. I don't think I've had it for very, very long. I don't know where I was lucky enough to find it. Probably like my Okay. For a while there, you could not find them. Your sinus have been a wreck now. 
Sorry, Chuck should cut you. Chopstick totally. So, can't forget the zigzag. Here, a little fluffy. I might have to clean up my sewing machine in here. Gotta remember to do that kind of stuff uh, regularly. <laughs> It's so dusty because I sew a lot of paper. It's real dusty. Now straight stitch. I gotta remember to back stitch because it's, it's a lot neater when you back stitch. Pretty good on the straightness over here. It's pretty good. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then I guess these strands of thread can stay because I cut off all the rest of them because they make it harder to sew. And you have all these different strands of thread around. Okay, so this looks adorable. So I'm just, <laughs> I actually already have a lot of these envelopes, but I'm just like adding. I just want to sew something. <laughs> I'm terrible. I get flooded. I have a bunch of stuff. I might make um, ephemera crafts because I have so much stuff that I've made and I mean the show must go on so I still am going to make stuff so I'm like kind of up to my neck in like ephemera and tags. I got to finish up putting the thread, the ribbon on the tags a break from it for a second, but I can get back to it. And I can sell these envelopes. I I like to make too much stuff. <laughs> Hi, Joy. How are you? Punching technique. <laughs> it's just punching. That was not good. That was that got so crooked. Hang on. I don't know what happened here. That just was so crooked. Oh my god. I can't. I can't use a punch. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. What size is your envelope? Um, I started off with five by seven. That's just the size printer paper I had. I don't know why I had a bunch of five by seven printer paper scraps cut up already, but that's the size I started. But I just figured it out basically by like going like this. You know what I mean? Like folding it kind of messed up and then kind of figuring out what what size would be good. You know, like I folded this and then this is one end is the part where you're going to put your message, you know, or whatever you want to put inside. And this part is the flap. So you want to have a little bit of space between the flap and the, and the message part. So what I would do is I would take a scrap of paper and I would kind of fold it the way I think it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Like that. I leave a little bit of space here and then here's my flap. And then I'll just take it over to my little, um, uh, scoreboard <laughs> and I can see 
where it is that um, I folded it. So it's going to be, you know, at one and a half. And then over here, it's going to be at four and a half. So that's kind of what it's going to, if all your pages, if all your scraps are the same size, then that's what you would do. That's kind of how you would figure out what size you need to, you know, fold it at. Make a test uh, test page. That's what I would suggest. Okay. Because you can do this with any size paper. You just have to, like, fold it like that. Thank you, Letitia. The papers I used are really, really cute. They're from a, a collection from Michael's. Another, like, bargain, you know, hot buy pa paper pass. Where you think you're going to buy something cheap and then you end up paying, like, $30. Yeah, those ones. Because <laughs> it's, like, buy five <laughs> or something like that. Okay, time to sew. And straight stitch here. Yeah, I usually get my paper pads from Michaels because they always have stuff on sale. So I have some paper pads to work through next year, I guess. <laughs> through the next year. I really only buy paper pads like once I'm like completely finished with the bunch that I bought before. <laughs> But now I see my, um, I have this, like, it's technically like a file container for those hanging files. Like a plastic bin that is specific for hanging file folders. And um, I have that full of scrap of paper that I got years and years and years ago. Back when I used to scrapbook. And it's actually kind of empty now. So I'm almost for the first time, I'm like, wow, I can actually get to the pads. <laughs> I've been working my way through those, those paper pads for a number of years now. And uh, it feels good to finish them. So I was able to get some pads. Have you thought of making your own paper pack themed pads? I don't know how I would do that. I don't know how to, you know, produce them. I don't. I don't understand that part of the industry. Okay, so here's this. I don't know why up here it's like, oh, I missed a stitch. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> that looks cute with the little, um, it looks like it's almost the same color here because I use a strip the whole way. It almost like blends in completely. <laughs> Like making your own 12 by 12, like like printables. Um, I mean, I focus mostly on um, junk journals, junk journal sizes. So I've not really made 12 by 12 in a long time. I've not tried. What am I doing? I need to um, like score this. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Score at four. I'm just going to say four and a half, but it's actually like in between four and a quarter and four and a half. Anyways, I forget those measurements. And then I score it at three. Do you put it in your journals in a pocket? Um, These, no, these are actually I would just like clip on with the paper clip to the page or something like that. But, I mean, I don't, I don't see why you couldn't put it in a pocket. I mean, it would be inception, like a pocket within a pocket. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's this time for this punch. I've been, like, alternating between the two punches I have here. Let's see. Right here. Let's so hold on to the thread a little bit. You actually use a pair of like little tweezers. You never know when you need, you know, like those long tweezers. I'm thinking I might get I might order one. Sounds like a good idea. 
Okay. So there goes that. There goes that. Done, done, done. Sewing machine back here. Oops. Way too close. Way too close. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So here I'm going to zigzag this flap right here. That's a weird phrase. I'm going to zigzag on this flap, y'all. <laughs> Okay. Not like a decorative pizza that people can buy anyways. Yeah, I don't know how I would produce that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know how where would I even order that for me? I don't I don't know. That's why I just stick to digital downloads. Here. Six. Uh, I need a straight stitch all the way around. As close to the edge as I can because I have been practicing that. Your angling is so hard. Hey, hello, thank you. I have literally, like I said, <laughs> hours and hours. Of I've been like really enjoying like gaining sewing skills since I started. I don't know why. I'm not like producing anything that anybody's gonna wear. <laughs> but and I've never actually tried to, you know, I think my dad had me um fix a pocket one time on his shirt. That's about it. <laughs> That's about my experience of functioning sewing. But I mean, does it translate? Would something like this translate to clothing? I don't know. I never really thought about it. Just been trying to get really good at sewing paper. <laughs> what I've been trying to work on the skills. Okay, so here's another one. Let's make sure I'm on, I'm on the right size. Yeah, we're about seven by five on this one, so I can use my regular size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and then at three. Oh man, you know what sounds so good right now? It's some like pancakes and coffee. <sighs> Yo, that sounds so bomb. Pancakes and some coffee. Oh my god, but like some like cafe house, like pancake house pancakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> sounds so good. Why is it not punching? What happened? What happened? <laughs> there was some thread stuck in the blade, I think. What the heck, Daisy? I can't get this right, y'all. <laughs> this these punches, hey. They have it out for me. <laughs> that is messed up, y'all. This one is not gonna make the good pile. <laughs> oh no, okay, you know what? Get it. That one is done. It's dead to me. <laughs> it's just late night Denny's on LOL. They need to hit up the yard sales. Yes, you know, I gotta get ready for those 3 a.m. yard sales. I gotta get my energy, y'all. <laughs> My neighborhood has the best <laughs> 3 a.m. ER cells you've ever freaking seen. Okay, so um, I messed up, right? My eyes are crooked. It's over here. It's over here. This one right here. I've been distracted by pancake thoughts. <laughs> thoughts of pancakes. Now there's this cool um like local breakfast spot I really like. 
It's just like the spot to go. Oh, you know, I don't know if you guys have a uh, pancake uh, or hash house a go go. Are you guys live? okay? So, like, I live in Las Vegas and we pretty much are like spoiled. We like have every restaurant that you probably have in your town. Like, <laughs> we have every restaurant you have, and we also have like, every celebrity restaurant you could think of. They all have restaurants here. So sometimes I can talk about something and you you guys might have it in your hometown too. So Hash House A Go Go is a really cool breakfast spot. And they have the most amazing like biscuits and jam. Like it tastes like a, a cupcake. It's so good. <laughs> so that's what this video is about. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this video is about biscuits and jam. They're amazing. You could trim off some of my stuff style and try it. I will when I feel a little bit better about that piece. Of paper. <laughs> After I'm not so bitter, I probably will. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just bitter about it right now. It's not my friend. Crazy. Last time you had coffee, you did three lives in one day. I know, right? Coffee makes me crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, I, I did go a little crazy that one week. <laughs> I just had a lot of things I wanted to show. <laughs> Back stitch. Okay. We're sewing and we're going. Okay. Okay. I keep trying to stay a little bit quiet when I'm sewing because I gotta like concentrate. When I'm sewing straight stitch or circles, I should say. <laughs> Anything else I can just talk about. If it has to be straight, I gotta like concentrate a little bit. Okay. Sure, it was coffee. It was coffee, y'all. Stop. <laughs> Stop investigating me. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. Don't go there. <laughs> okay, so this looks good to me. Oh, that looks so cute. Yes, I love it. I love it. Chris, have a good night. Okay, girl. You have a good night, too. Okay. Um, this part is going to be a flappy do. Sometimes I like to decide this is going to be flap. This is going to be the part where you put the message. Today I decided this is the bottom here. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I think they look so cute. I'm really happy about these. It doesn't matter if the paper goes upside down or whatever. It's, it's a little like, you know, collaged envelopes. I really wouldn't worry too much about it. It looks like we're straight as much as I'm gonna get. Okay, could be a little bit, a little bit straighter. Okay, Joy. Have a good night. I hope you have a good life. I'm almost done with my life here, so definitely go check out Joy after I'm done. <laughs> okay, I gotta. I forgot to do this part. I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna try this one again. Make sure there's nothing inside, because last time I tried to sabotage me. Tried to sabotage me. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. That my luck continues here. Okay, good. Okay, wonderful, wonderful.
Okay, now we're back to the sewing, and we're going, and we're gone, and my bobbin is still good. Okay, I might try like a dark purple, or let me see. I'm trying to look, I'm having dark purple thread come up, so maybe not a dark purple. Maybe something else. I haven't decided yet. I am way too close to the camera. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was like up there. I'll tell you what though, my my in my sewing is actually even better when I'm off camera because the camera is literally right in my face. Like literally right in between me and the sewing machine. <laughs> so I gotta have to like duck to look under the camera. So my, it's, my sewing is definitely a lot better when I'm not on camera. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. <laughs> it just depends on the day. <laughs> Kind of lost control here then. It happens. It happens. Ah, not the worst. It did go by and it kind of like, pfft, I lost control. <laughs> it was on autopilot at that point. <laughs> okay, so these envelopes are coming out cute. I'm really liking them. I'm really happy that I'm going to add these to my stash. And um, they look really cute with the little punched borders. Hopefully that doesn't like hinder their use. This one might have been a better like choice because it's a little bit more solid. So if it's going to get a lot of use, maybe this little scalloped edge might be a better, um, better choice. But you know what? It's all good. It's all in good fun. I'm just going to keep going for a little bit. I have like eight more minutes here. Looks great even so. Thank you. I just figured you don't know what you do with the eyes. That's true. I'd, I'd be talking to myself like a crazy person. Or my cat, probably like a, my cat, like a crazy person too. <laughs> um, when my husband um, started staying home this year, I was like, oh, you're going to find out that how much I talk to the cat. <laughs> it's what I told. I'm like, oh, you're going to see how much I actually talk to this cat. Like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I want that to happen. <laughs> but I do I actually talk to my cat a lot. <laughs> he keeps me busy all day, I'm telling you. He, like, he wants to play half, uh, fetch half the day. I have to get up, get his toy, toss it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Every day, all day, it's his thing. Our puppy is sick right now. No. Good night, Vanessa. Get to bed. <laughs> get to bed, lady. <laughs> I had a long nap at like three o'clock. I fell asleep. No, at four o'clock, I fell asleep till freaking seven. <laughs> so it was definitely more more than a nap. <laughs> so I've, I'm I'm full of energy now. I am on one, and I'm gonna sew it tonight. I think that's what's in order. I don't know what I'm gonna sew because telling you this is like I, I just finished sewing what I was gonna sew so now I gotta make more freaking pages I guess I guess okay so let's go to the sewing machine it means you can stay on the line longer <laughs> no girl I'm telling you I get fidgety after an hour I want to get off like sometimes I can sometimes I'll do it sometimes I don't even think about it, but like I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> also, that's why I try to eat before I eat. I'm not gonna eat my mouth. 
some pee go go live for hours, and I'm just like amazed. Like that's cool. I can't. I cannot. Hour, two hours tops. Tops. It's a lot of energy. I think it's not, but for me, I don't know why it is. It's, it drains my energy a little bit, just a little bit. So I need to. That's why I always like. I'll go live for an hour, and then I'll say I'll come back in a couple hours and go live again. <laughs> Oh, uh, that I don't know why that happened. That corner there is not good. Yeah, okay. That's it. Still looks good. This right here. Okay, cool. That late night snack, right? Oh, right. Exactly. Exactly that. Gotta eat. I have to eat. Let's see. Okay, these threads are coming from inside. Oh, right here. From over here. Okay. Gotta make sure I know where the threads are coming from. Okay, so this one is super cute. Again, I used a bunch of like pastels. I didn't um like ink in between any pages. Of course you can, and it'll look a lot nice. It'll look a lot nice. It'll look nice. If you like to ink a lot, so they could look even cuter. Um, these are just, you know, these little scrappy envelopes that I enjoy making. I don't know why I have a bunch of this printer paper that's five by seven. <laughs> but I do, and uh, I'm just working on using up some scraps, working on using up this uh, paper pad. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for me tonight, y'all. But I had a lot of fun working on these with y'all, and um, I will, I think it's funny, the sewing machine has a speech bubble. <laughs> okay, y'all, I hope you guys have a good night tomorrow. Um, if I feel like it, we'll be back to decorating my Christmas journal um, that I have left to do. Um, so thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for chatting with me. Letitia, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jim, for joining me here, and uh, I will chat with y'all later, okay? Bye. Have a good night. Bye, Patricia. Bye, Beverly. Have a good night, y'all.